So let me go over the story of me and making this video. So I actually did make this video once and it took one and a half hours to make. And I made the video again. I wrote it down to around 50 minutes. But aside from all of that, excuse the background noise, I wanted to make this video as short as possible so I'm not going to over explain how to get all of the materials. If there's going to be one specific material that is somewhat difficult to get, excuse like the, the frame like I've been lagging quite a lot. And I will be just explaining what how to get the item, but this is not a tutorial how to get the dragon coins, this is not a tutorial how to get uh, the dragons easier, this is just a tutorial on how to get the dragons, just the location and what do you need to do in order to attain the dragon. With that being said, this is just going to be a two-parter video of me just going over each and every single ancestral dragon and each and every single legendary dragon. I will also put a caveat on the primordial dragon, but the primordial dragon I will put it alongside the legendary dragon. But for the most part, I'm going to focus more on the ancestral dragon and legendary dragon. There's going to be 17 ancestral dragon, 35 legendary dragons to talk about in today's video. Well, Technically today's video because I will be posting it in two separate videos, but both of them are going to be posted at the same time. So if you want to see how to get all the legendary dragons, check it in the link in the description below or check in the link in the top right card on the screen. And yeah, that is all I wanted to explain. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another JMP video. I'm your host Renata and today I will be talking about how to get every single ancestral dragon in Trove. So I personally do have every single dragon in the entire game that is available right now as of the making of today's video, which is going to be made the 23rd of 2020. So I will be explaining how to get every single ancestral and legendary dragon in the entire game. This is not going to be a tutorial on telling you which how easy it's going to be, like how to get it easier. This is just going to be pretty much a location on how to get all of the dragons in the game. Now, let's start talking about the Ancestral Dragon. What is the difference between Ancestral and Legendary Dragon? The Ancestral Dragon cannot be gotten with the Golden Dragon Effigy. The Golden Dragon Effigy, let me see if I do have it in my inventory. Short answer, no, I don't have it. Alright, so we're back again. So this is the Golden Dragon Effigy. The Golden Dragon Effigy is going to be an item that you can be unlocked in the store or in getting by through getting Throw Master 250. Either or, this is how you actually normally get the Golden Dragon Effigy, which is from the weekly Dragon Deal, which appears only once a month, if I recall. And also, you can get it from the Jam Pack, which those are pretty much the only two reliable ways that you can actually get a Golden Dragon Effigy. Aside from all of those two, you can also get a Golden Dragon Effigy for reaching Trove Mastery 250. So if you go right over here, you can see Golden Dragon Effigy at 250. This will allow you to unlock any legendary dragon that you don't have unlocked, so it doesn't work ancestral or primordial dragons. Now, I will be talking about how to get all of the ancestral dragons. So first of all, it's going to be uh, the Saiyan with the Immortal, which by the way, I'm not going to pronounce all of the dragon's name. So this is a dragon that you can that you used to get it from the friend referral uh, badge, which not anymore. But right now you can only get it from the store. By only obtaining this dragon, you need to pretty much buy any pack on the store. If you buy any pack on the store, you're going to get this dragon for free. That's pretty much how you're going to get this dragon. Unfortunately, that's the only way that you can obtain it. You need to spend real life money in order to get this dragon. Now, let's start talking about Azorian the Blue or the Azulian Dragon. Azulian Dragon or Azorian the Blue, you get it from the Dragon Crucible and you get it in the Dragon Soul section. You see it right here, the Azulian Dragon Soul. You're going to see all the materials needed. So, if you want the Dragon only, you need 30 of the Azulian Dragon. So, you need to craft 30 of them and you will get the Dragon. But, if you want the 30 Power Rank plus the Stat and Magifying, you need 40. 40 is going to be the maximum for this badge, so you need all 40 of them in order to actually get this dragon. Alright, now let's move on. Uh, the Neon Lord or the Neon Dragon, it is almost the same as the Azulian Dragon. Most of the dragons that you're going to see from now on, that is going to be the Neon Ancient, Moonwind, Bow Winter, and Starlight. But all of them are pretty much dragons so that you can obtain them like just on the Dragon Crucible right over here. Now, the Neon Dragon, again, you need all 100 of them in order to get the stats and you need 90 of them if you want this dragon. Now, the Ancient Dragon, which you can get it right over here, same as the Neon Dragon, you need 90 of them in order to get the dragon or 100 if you want the stats. If you want to know what are going to be your progress, you can just go ahead and go into Collections, Badges, Dragon Ascension, and you're going to see the badges right here. You can tell this is how you get the stats, 
this is how you get the dragon for the neon and the ancient 90 and 100 now moving on to the next dragon which is the moonwind dragon moving forward from the moonwind bone winter and starlight dragon all of them are pretty much the same so the moonwind dragon similar to all of the other dragons it will give you stats at 75 souls consumed so you need to use 75 of this item in order to get the soul it's not 100 like these two you need 75 so similar to the bone similar to the winter similar to the starlight all of them is 75 for the stats and if you want the dragon you need all 100 of them so it's going to be a little bit different so the stats is going to be get gotten earlier but the dragon is going to be gotten later so that's pretty much how it is that's how you're going to get all of these dragons that I will be mentioning which are going to be as follow the Moonwind, the Bone, the Winter and the Starlight all four of them can be gotten the same way in the Dragon Ascension Batch and from 75 for the stats and 100 for this dragon so you can just see it in the description of this dragon by the way anyway let's move on to the next one volkaiser volkaiser is the mastery dragon you get it for reach and throw mastery 300 and you don't get any stats so this is just a regular dragon that doesn't grant any stats or mastery so this is just a uh, dragon that you will get eventually anyways Enduria, the unwavering or the void washer dragon so this is one of the more difficult dragons to actually attain this dragon you can get it right over here in the fragment dragon section you are going to see all of the things that you need right here and the void watcher fragment the way that you can obtain it is really from shadow cash as you can see it right there this is literally the last sentence of this ingredients description so you can literally get this fragment from shadow caches only they are very rare and this is one of the few dragons that can actually be gone as a golden dragon egg so if you find a golden dragon egg that is tradable, you can get it if you want. But normally it's just going to be like that. Next up is going to be literally the most time consuming dragon in the entire game because literally it's time gated. This is all who coil or whatever it's called. Like <laughs> I'm just going to mispronounce all of those names. But anyway, this is the moon silver dragon or what a lot of people like to call the this whole divinity dragon. So you actually, you can find it right down here in the same section, in the fragment section. So the moon silver dragon egg, you get them from the shadowy merchant inside the shadow tower. So the shadowy merchant will allow you to buy these fragments for one disposal divinity per fragment. You need 50 fragments in order to get this dragon. So this is going to be extremely time consuming. Post delve update if you have patron and if you do every single week on Mondays, it's going to take you a minimal of 10 weeks. So yeah, because actually if you get the Lunar Soul and Dispel Divinity on Monday, post delve update, you will be getting 5 per week. So you need 10 of them. Well, you need 10 weeks. So yeah. Anyways, that is going to be everything for this dragon. This is going to be the more time consuming dragon. So take it easy. There's no golden dragon version for this dragon. So this one, you had to get it yourself like this. Next up is going to be Rom 10, which is going to be the Empyrean Dragon or one of the two Luminopolis Dragon, whatever you want to call it. So you find it right here, similar to like most of the dragons that you will be talking about in today's video. But you can find it right here in the fragment section in the Dragon Crucible. So how do you get all of those materials? Memory Matrix, you get it for crafting in the crafting bench, in the resistor workbench. Similar to like the charge circuit and logic loop is going to be exactly the same. For the daily ramping challenges, for throwing beacons, each beacon that you throw, you will get one sentient shard. Legendary tomes, you can get it right there, or greater neon caches, which is not available anymore. So it's pretty much going to be either rampage challenges, throwing beacons, or legendary tomes in order to actually get a lot of sentient shard. The Empyrean Dragon Egg is going to be going from, from lesser neon caches. So lesser neon caches are going to be the boxes that you get from completing the challenges for the rampage. And that's pretty much how you're going to get this dragon. This is another dragon that, again, is somewhat time getting because it's tied to Rampage. And you can get a golden dragon egg version for this dragon. So if you check in the marketplace, you might find one of these golden dragon egg for this dragon. Same goes with the next dragon that I'll be talking about, which is Hoshisora, which is the resistor dragon. It is pretty much exactly the same as the Empyrean dragon. You get them exactly the same. All of the materials, all of the things that literally is you could say it is technically the same dragon at that point so you find that in the fragment section literally right next to round 10 you can find it all the way down here charge circuit logic loop you find that in the resistor workbench sentient shard like i mentioned rampage daily challenges beacons for throwing the and legendary tomes and pretty much greater neon caches but the greater neon caches are not available anymore 
and the fragments you get there from lesser neon caches which is from the rampage challenges again one more thing that i'm going to mention the fragments are going to be somewhat time gated so you have a chance of either getting the appearing fragment or the resistor fragment and there's going to be a golden dragon version for this dragon or the other dragon like either the resistor or the empyrean dragon and yeah that's pretty much how you're going to get uh, these two dragons for the most part next dragon on this list is going to be luxarion which is the luxon dragon similar to all of the other dragon souls again this is another dragon soul you need all 100 of them to actually have, have this dragon or 75 if you want the stat. How do you get the souls for this dragon? You don't get them from the Dragon Crucible, you get them from Luxion. Luxion will appear every two Fridays uh, and on the hub, which is, you could probably tell it is all the way up here. It is going to have like, it is going to be standing right over here that you're going to see it every single time. Or you can just go into the welcome screen and it's going to tell you where Luxion is appearing. Now, the Dragon Crucible, you cannot find the Golden Horde Dragon Souls. You have to buy from Luxion. So Luxon is going to be the dragon that actually does have all the merchants, that does have the souls, which you can at least buy 15 of them each and every single time Luxon visits. So yeah, that's how you're going to get this dragon. Again, this is another time getting dragon. So pretty much buy it every single time that you see Luxion. And there's no golden dragon version for the Luxion dragon. Now, Yizuli. Yizuli or the pretty much the honeybees dragon or the bee dragon this is a dragon that you can find that similar to most dragons that i will be talking about in today's video which you can find them right here in the fragments section so how do you get the fragments for this dragon you need to defeat bee like enemies if you're playing this post delve update there's going to be a lot of new biomes that actually does have a lot of bee enemies so you will be able to get a lot of fragments for those v from those bee enemies so Make sure to grind a lot of delves if you're playing post delve update. You might find a lot of them if you just grind some of those enemy inside the delves. And you should be able to get all of these very easily. You can just go ahead and click in the toggle ingredient uh, information by pressing Y on Xbox or triangle on PlayStation. I believe on PC you had to hover the mouse over the item. And you are going to see all of the items right there like in the description on how to get all of them. Anyways, that's how you're going to get the bee dragon. The other way that you can actually obtain this bee dragon is by buying a pack there's going to be one pack that actually does have this bee dragon and you can just get it for a 15 dollar pack i don't remember the name of the pack it used to be like an extra light pack but that, that you can get this dragon from that pack and there's no golden dragon version so you have to either grind it or buy the pack there's no other way around now let's move on into the second to last on this list which is going to be shaura sage of the eastern what the hell i don't know the name anyways this is the sagely blue dragon and this is the last dragon in the fragment section which you can find it right here this is one of two dragons that doesn't need any dragon coins so you're going to see that it, there's no dragon coins needed for this so all you need is to grind the sagely blue dragon skills which you can get it from defeating enemies inside the forbidden spires there's not going to be any description for the sagely blue dragon skills but any single enemy that you fight inside the forbidden spires will have a chance of dropping the sagely blue dragon scale and it do, it is affected by dragon day and there's no golden dragon egg version for this dragon so you have to grind it. and the last dragon that i'll be talking about in this part of the video it is going to be kythoron or the warhead dragon or pretty much the season 2 of bomber royale dragon now again there's not going to be anywhere in the dragon crucible the where you can find this dragon so let me just go ahead and go into the bomber royale so if you go in the bomber royale merchant you can see the golden warhead dragon egg and this is just a dragon that doesn't need any dragon quest or anything just get this dragon egg just use it and you get the dragon pretty simple and this is a tradable golden dragon egg. and yeah pretty much that's the only way that you can obtain it either buy it from the marketplace or get it right here for 300 season 2 bomber royale tokens and that is everything. That's how you're going to get every single ancestral dragon trove. In second part, it will be talking about every single legendary dragon. So the legendary dragon is going to take a lot longer. So I will probably just talk about them a little bit quicker. The good thing about the legendary dragon is most of them can be got inside the dragon crucible. But the second part is going to be the long part right there. So make sure to stay put. Again, click the link in the description below. Top right card on screen. And you will be sent directly into part 2, which it will be talking about every single legendary dragon in the game. And that is everything for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out as always. Leave a like if you want to help the channel grow. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And that's all for today. Once again, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and keep on hunting. And watch out for part 2 in the description below. See ya.